Surprisingly, he chose the very good Chivas Regal whiskey for the creme brulee, of course, one of our sponsors. Egg yolks. You find you get a much better result with a creme brulee if you do it by hand, but you can imagine that if you had two or three hundred egg yolks, it physically might not be possible. Nous incorporons le sucre. Incorporating the sugar. Nous allons bien mélanger tout ça. Mixing it very well. Incorporating milk and cream. C'est très important de mélanger le sucre et les œufs d'abord. It's very, very important to mix in the sugar that rests on the bottom of the dish before you continue with the recipe. My suggestion, if you can't get the French one, would just be to use the single pouring cream because it's too big a risk to, to actually use a cream that is sour and will then give you a sour flavour. This is known as a bain-marie in French. It's a, a dish with high sides in which you have hot water and the dishes which sit there, which protects or insulates the fragile custard from overcooking. He's putting it in the oven at a temperature of 80 degrees. Nous savons tous que l'eau bout à 100 degrés. It's very important to have that at a, your oven at that very low temperature. If you don't, you will risk boiling the custard, which will split it. For those of you that may have missed that very quick step of, of what happened, it was in the bowl and now it's in the oven, basically that's all there is to it. The ingredients are mixed together with the whisk, so he had the egg yolks and the sugar, and then the cream, the milk and the whiskey, and once it's mixed together and it's homogenous, it's poured into the little dishes, which are resting in their water bath, and into the oven for 45 minutes at about 80 degrees. It's very important to chill the creme brulee before you caramelise the top. If the uh, creme brulee is not cold enough, aside from the fact that the heat of the, the caramelising might melt it, the sugar will just disappear. It will be absorbed into the creme. Bon appétit. Bye.